Well, good morning, my Torians. How are you cutie pies doing? Welcome. It's Wednesday. I want to say Tuesday. I'm all this last two weeks. I have really been off track, haven't I? Um, yes. Happy hump day, guys. Happy hump day. We are doing your reading. I am doing bonus reads. I swear it is going to be actually on Sunday this week. Um, it, yeah, it has to be because on f the following Wednesday, I actually have surgery. So I'm also going to be making a lot of videos. I, I have to get that done. I have to, cause I don't want you guys really missing out on a day here. So yeah, uh, bonus reads on Sunday afternoon, my Torians. Um, also I am using Tarot of the Mystical Moments for the main deck. Um, 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 Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck. I do have both your energies. That's crazy. Hierophant and a Seven Pentacles Reverse. It feels like somebody doesn't want to waste any more time or they're feeling like they're wasting time because something wants to come together. At least one party wants it to come together. That's what that's feeling like. Um, maybe two people. Maybe somebody's been waiting on you to finally come around to them. Um, but yeah, also Taurus, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here for me for this past. That was a weird segue, wasn't it? Uh, for this past year, you guys are so amazing to me. And for all my new viewers, if you're feeling my vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. Yep. So let's get going. We have, like I said, Hierophant and Seven Pentacles Reverse. What's below the Hierophant? Star Reverse, Ten of Swords. Ooh, Turmoil, Knight of Wands Reverse, Eight of Cups Reverse. Ah. Uh, is this a reading Taurus? Is this somebody wanting their Taurus back? All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. If you are a Taurus, know a Taurus, feel like being a Taurus, well, Taurus, I am so glad you're here. Which means you could be a Taurus and this resonates. Of course, it's your Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus and it can still resonate. Take your pick. Take your pick. Oh, okay. You want to know something funny? I actually sat down to do Leo's reading. And then when I shuffled, it's like my brain switched to you, not by choice. And then I did your reading and here we are 30 seconds in, 40 seconds a minute. And I'm like, oh my God, I was supposed to do Leo, but you just took over. Let's find out why. General energy for my Taurians. General energy for my Taurians. General energy for my Taurians. I feel like I got, was possessed there. <laughs> General energy for my Taurians. Death reverse, Taurus. I think somebody's breaking in. They look at that Seven of Pentacles. Are you making somebody wait? Are you not giving somebody an answer? Not coming back? What's going on? What's influencing the death reverse for my Taurians? What's influencing the death reverse? Scorpio energy. What's influencing the death reverse? What's influencing the death reverse? The Sun reverse. Without you, Taurus, there is no hope. I know melodramatic, but seriously, somebody's in the blues. What's the reason for the reading? It's like you took the sun out of their life when you walked away. What's the reason for the reading, Taurus? What's the reason? You got Whitney Houston. Um, I will always love you. Yeah, I think so. King of Swords, reason for the reading. Why do I feel like that could be you? Uh, Aquarius energy here. Um, this is could be you with some strong boundaries. Stay in silent. This person, you, you're hard to get to is what I'm getting. What is in the past? What is in the past here? What is in the past? The Four of Swords. See, now this, honestly, this, uh, as I say, it could be new, but the death reverse. If somebody, the only way this would be new is if, that you just know there's somebody interested in you and you would not give them a shot. But I don't know if that would be strong enough. I mean, I guess it could be strong enough to be picking up in the daily reads if if it's like borderline obsession here. But death reverse usually um, signifies a past relationship of somebody not being able to move on from it. But four swords in the past, you're good. But again, I'm telling you, this does feel a bit... Five of Swords and the Devil. Five of Pentacles. Uh, somebody, I feel, just can't move on. And it's it's beyond that. It's just either this person did you wrong and they're so ashamed of it and they have so much guilt and they really want you back. They want to prove to you how much they've changed. But honestly, I don't think they can get to you, Taurus. You're a Four of Swords and a King of Swords. I mean, you pulled all the way back. I mean back to the future here four swords is is a lot of healing king of swords is a lot of boundaries 
And also, I think you have a bird's eye view on the situation as it is. I think you're good. What's on Torian's mind? What is on the Torian's mind? What is on the Torian's mind? What is on the Torian's mind? Six of Swords reversed. Maybe it is you in this reading. Not being able to move on energetically. Maybe not being able to move on past the disappointment they cause you because it is a, a rain cloud of disappointment here. Aquarius, again, what is in the near future for my Torians? What's in the near future? What is in the near future? What is in the near future? What is in the near future? Eight of Wands. Hey, I like that, right? I feel like being free from this. I, I am I am getting two versions here. I The first version is I feel like somebody wants you to reach out because they can't get a hold of you. They want to prove to you how much they've changed. They, It's just without you, sun reverse, I, it could be a, even a depressed kind of energy. And But what's on your mind is interesting. Both Aquarian energies is a lot of clarity, a lot of what four swords is the healing, right? Because I feel like that's really positive. But on your mind is a six of swords reverse. And the first feeling I'm getting is you're unable to move on from what they did to you. Because again, it's not moving on possibly because you can't do better. But see, she's she's riding that rain cloud of disappointment to new lands, to her wish fulfillment, to that star energy. And maybe you're unable to move into that new energy because of the anger is still you know, kind of hanging on you like an entity. But let's see what this eight of wands is here too. Well, we'll get there. I don't want to clarify that first, but you know what? I'm doing all kinds of things backwards today. Might as well. But no, that'll mess it up. All right. What is the death reverse and the sun reverse for my Torians? There's that lover's reverse. Yep, it is. Lover's reverse and the world reverse. A lot of unfinished business. Could be a lot of, it could be just not knowing why. But I still feel like somebody just wants a second chance. Yeah, uh, they just, I don't know. Somebody wants a second chance, Taurus. I just don't think you can trust or forgive them. Okay, what is this death reverse and the sun reverse for my Torians? Death reverse and the sun reverse. Both major arcana, Leo and Scorpio, two kings showing up. It's weird. You know what? You are the king of pentacles. We have the king of cups. We have the king of wands. And we have the king of swords. You know what that means? Emperor mode. You know what emperors do? Emperors make are, are making very hard and f not fast decisions, but I would say definite decisions. I think you're in control of yourself and of the situation. I don't think you're allowing yourself to be manipulated these days or being pulled around and yanked around. I think you're f focused on your future. I think you're focused focus on your future happiness, on your goals, maybe even new love. But man, we have this energy hanging on you like an entity. You know what's so weird is I was just in the car and for some reason on Sirius XM, on one of the stations, they were playing the exorcist theme. <laughs> maybe you need a priest, Taurus. Maybe you are in need of a higher assistance to get this energy purge from your field here. Okay, what is the death reverse and the sun reverse? The death reverse and the sun reverse. And the world reverse. How would I live without you? Who sings that? Is that, I, I get Leanne Rhymes, but who sings that? Oh, Celine Dion sings that, right? No? How will I live without you? That's, yeah. The world reverse. So melodramatic. Why the world reverse? They can't move on. They can't manifest. You know, honestly, Ace of Cups reverse. Somebody pulled their cup away. Well, you know what I feel like? Somebody was playing around with somebody's cup. And I don't mean, I'm not talking metaphorically. Not in that kind of sense, you dirty birds. But Ace of Cups reverse and the world reverses, I feel like somebody got taken advantage of. Somebody could have been you. Somebody could have been breadcrumbs. And thought somebody thought you would, you, if this is you, Taurus, that you would always be there. Now, Taurus, this could be your energy to somebody else. If you did this to them and maybe you just want a second chance to prove your love and in and, and how serious you are now but um either way somebody's got a lot of boundaries up here well tell me about the king of swords reason for the reading for my torians why the king of swords 
Why the King of Swords? And the five, yeah, they want forgiveness. Five of Swords reverse, Aquarius energy again. Five of Swords reverse is trying to make amends. They wanna make amends to you. Why the Five of Swords reverse? Now, it doesn't always have to be love. I mean, it's feeling love, but this definitely could be if you had a fallout with, yeah, and the star. There's your star card. Some of them want to travel with you because this is definitely traveling. This always reminds me of like, I always want to say Tahiti or Hawaii here. But yeah, see the star, how she's focused on her star. You're not focused on anything with this person right now. And maybe this isn't forever. Maybe some of you just had like a breakup or a fight. And you, you kind of know in your heart of hearts, you're going to have this come back around and you put this person in their transformational box for a few months while this person can't live without you. It's so dramatic, but it's kind of sweet. You know, what's this four swords in the past? What's the four swords in the past? Gemini or Libra energy, four swords in the past. And the seven of swords, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of making amends, a lot of explaining why they did it. Um, a lot of groveling, a lot of begging, seven of swords reverse. Let me see, give me another one. And the nine of wands. And they feel like there's still hope between you. There's still hope for, they want to, it's like, they, they want to put this, this rift between you down. They, they want to, they, they, they want to move to calmer waters. They don't like being afloat in the, in the hurricane of the, not the hurricane, but you know, if this is moving to calmer waters, this is staying afloat in those crazy emotional times. And they just want, I think they just want your forgiveness. They want you back. They, I think this person would do anything to have you back to us. What is the Six of Swords reverse on your mind? Six of Swords reverse on Taurus's mind. Yeah, and Taurus is like, I really don't want to speak to you. Page of Cups reverse. In fact, I may have lost a little bit of respect for you. What did they do, Taurus? What did they do? Page of Cups reverse, Six of Swords reverse on your mind, and the Six of Cups reverse on your mind, Scorpio energy. And for you, it's over. What is the Eight of Wands in the near future? What is the Eight of Wands in the near future? What is the Eight of Wands in the near future for my Taurians? And the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now this is interesting. This is to me a delay. And I feel with this Eight of Wands on the Ace of Pentacles reverse, there's a Taurus that says, I have delayed what I wanted and what I needed to do long enough. This is where I need to put my focus. I don't want my life to look like this, this time next year. I wanna see real progress this year. I want, I want to be in that sun energy. I want that happiness. I want to be able to move on from this, but I can't move on if this person's still bothering and pestering me or they're just kind of hanging and hanging over me like an entity. What is this eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles or eight of wands and the ace of pentacles reverse? Eight of wands. And then also this ace of pentacles is probably could be their offer for forgiveness and you are rejecting it and moving on. What is this eight of wands? Oh, my ear is ringing for my Torians. Eight of wands, eight of wands. What is it? Yeah, ace of wands. Wow. You, I feel like, are rejecting anything from this person. You are no longer putting yourself on hold and you are manifesting it majorly. Because this feels like the magician with the Ace of Wands, doesn't it? And it's like looking into the keyhole into your future. And I'm telling you, I'm really feeling strongly that there's a Taurus that's really tuned in to themselves now, to them, their higher selves. They're connected, not just to who they are, but where they want to be, who they want to be. They don't even want to be the same person that dealt with this. They don't want to wait on an energy. They don't want to have to serve an energy. They only want to serve themselves. What is this Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups reverse? And you're not dealing with the players. King energy or higher need apply. I mean, you'll take a queen, okay? But you know what, you guys know what I mean. You're not dealing with the knight reverses, the queen reverses, or the king reverses, any reversals. Anybody who can't grow up, anyone who you have to like help, like, you know, not help, but you know, anybody you have to raise, anyone you have to constantly look the other way or rationalize. I think once you get into a relationship or a friendship or whatever this is, and, you have you start as soon as you feel like you question their integrity i think you're already gone 
but you're done with the 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 fakers that's the knight of cups reverse it's people who don't show up for you it's people who say they will and they won't it's people who promises make promises but they never fulfill them it, what is the knight of cups reverse and the six of pentacles and whoever you give your energy to taurus is really really going to deserve it it's yeah the six of pentacles is is whoever is bestow bestowed your your love your friendship, your connection, they really, they deserve to be in that inner circle. I just don't think you're giving that out willy nilly anymore. I really don't. I think you're, I think you're using a lot of discernment. I think you're, you're really clear. And I think this has really opened your eyes to not just who you don't want, but who you deserve in your life. But yeah, uh, the death card, 10 of pentacles reverse, six of swords reverse. I, I think the six of swords, I think this person literally can't move on from you. And that's probably why energetically you can't let go of the anger. It's really connected. And yeah, I'm sorry guys, 10 of swords, the high priestess reverse, the 10 of wands. You are really done with this, but somebody's not done with you, Taurus. They're just not. I just feel like they... They feel like they can't live without you. It's very melodramatic, you know? It's a country song over here. All right, my Torians, have a fantastic rest of your week. I may see you this weekend. I may not, but you will see me again. I love you guys. Take care.